Islam is not just a religion, it's what we call a deen in Arabic, which means a way of life. If it's a comprehensive idea, concept, and from it emanates various concepts and values to live our life and to form a unique successful civilization. This is why Adam Smith, who is that very funny looking guy at the back of your 20 pound note, who is the 18th century founder of modern economics, he said that if it wasn't for the tranquility of the caliphate, the Islamic governance, the principles of Islam with regards to social political context, if it wasn't for those things, we would never have people within that society to look into the interconnecting principles of nature and develop and facilitate the Renaissance. Adam Smith, even Thomas Arnold, a famous historian, he writes, it was Islamic Spain that was the key milestone for the facilitation of the Renaissance, the facilitation for the scientific revolution. So your iPad, your iPhone, what a stupid thing, the iPad. It's in between an iPhone and a laptop. We never really needed it, but they gave it to us, right? Consumerism, that's what consumerism is. It says you have too many needs, and we know which needs they are, and by the way, we have a product for you. That's consumerism. Anyway, different topic. But the point is, brothers, sisters, and friends, Islam facilitated the Renaissance because of Islamic Spain, as per the words of Professor Thomas Arnold. Islamic Spain, when it was taken over after by the Christians, particularly Toledo, Many of the Western scholars, they traveled to Islamic Spain, or what was Islamic Spain, and what did they find? They found libraries, they found literature, they found analytic material, they found scholarship, which resulted from the social, political principles that Islam taught its rulers, so they could apply within that environment, so they could produce these works. And we have, for instance, Adelaide of Bath and Daniel of Morley, two amazing English scholars of which traveled to Toledo, took the Arabic manuscripts that came as a result of the Islamic principles to develop that amazing environment for the cultivation of the sciences, and they took it back to England. And what did they form, people? Oxford University. Your first choice, by the way. <laughs> and many of Western scholars, they traveled to Islamic Spain to translate these works, and hence it formed the basis for chemistry, for astronomy, for geology, and all these different sciences. So the Renaissance was as a result of Islam, which is as a result of Allah. So thank Allah.